Hello, 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 everybody. Happy Friday. It's your girl, Desiree Tarot, and I'm back for another Tarot reading. So please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you would like to book a private reading, all you have to do is look at my description box. Everything is down there. Go ahead, get you your reading out the way, and let's talk about it. But anyway, all of this is alleged and for entertainment purposes for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because on YouTube... I don't know, you know what I'm saying, so you gotta say those things, but we already know what it is, okay, so, um, let's talk about it, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife, okay, so you already know Dwayne Wade has a trans daughter named Zaya that has been, um, transitioning and, you know, and going through that process, you know, he's married to Gabrielle Union. He does have other kids as well, but Zaya has um, presented as something a little different, you know, because it is different. It's like a unicorn. It's like a mermaid, things like that. You know, she's coming into her own, all right? So, and she's blossom, and she's blossoming, right? Zaya. Okay, so. We all seen this. We already know that Dwayne Wade is pretty much 100% supporting his child. As you should do, you should always support your child. And you should always want you should always want the best interest of your child, okay? What's going to make your child happy and functional and prepared for the world, you know? Um, but we have, you know, the public has always wanted to know where Zaya's mother was, his ex-wife. And, and how does he feel? How does she feel about this? And lo and behold, she comes out saying that Dwayne Wade is exploiting their child's transition, you know, and she doesn't like it, basically, and she's tired of being silenced. And then he clapped back at her heart and come to find out two things that really stuck out to me is that she is not, she has not been present in any major thing that Zaya is having. You know, if it's a, a recital or whatever, you're not there. You don't show up. Why don't you show up? You know what I'm saying? Um, Dwayne Wade might have full custody, but why isn't his her mom showing up? That's the issue. Um, And then also the fact that he said you're a good Christian. See, now that says that maybe she has a problem with what's going on. Um, I'm going to tell y'all how I kind of feel. I kind of feel like when it comes to a child that has presented to be trans, I do feel like it's a... I do, based on research that I've been looking up, the pros and the cons i do feel like the wait and see method is a good thing to see what's going on to see if this if this child is serious about what's going on and then if this child wants is really ready to commit to that process to see if this child might change their minds who knows because you don't know everybody is different Every individual, I don't care how you feel about statistics, but every individual is different and their needs are different. And the best thing we can do is really go step by step and figure out is this something that they want for a lifetime. And I don't believe in doing any gender reassignment surgery before the age of 18, okay? Before the age of 18, I feel like no kid should be um, reassigning their gender surgically, okay, I don't, I feel like that's something, that's the last step, the very last step, I would never approve my kid for that, not saying that they're going to do that, I'm just saying I wouldn't do that, me personally, not, not, oh, not before the age of 18, also, I do feel like, not even just 18, probably 20. I wouldn't tell them to do that till they turn in their 20s and they lived a little bit or, you know, whatever. I wouldn't tell them to just reassign their gender, you know, surgically at all. Um, but, you know, when it comes to hormone pills, I probably 
And see, the other thing about hormones is that that's tricky, too, because it's pros and cons. The pros are you get it before you hit that puberty. You won't get that deep voice. You won't get them big arms and stuff like that, right? Um, but the downside of it is, you know, your bones. Your bones are not developed, you know. There is things like that. And not only that, based on, you know, if we rush and give you all these pills, what if you turn 18 and don't want to be a trans woman anymore? You want to go back. I mean, it's a commitment, right? And you want to go backwards. And people think that it's because of what society feels. But to be honest, every single case is different. So... You want to go backwards, and then you're left with the down parts of taking all them pills. So I kind of it's, it's a it's a iffy thing, but the real thing is you have to, you know, be there for your child, and if that's what's going on, you have to help them every step of the way. Man, if I had a trans child, I would be. I don't care. The one thing my child will be is fly. Okay. <laughs> And they're going to still be loved, but they're going to be fly, okay? So, <laughs> I'm going to make sure they go get their little cute little nails done. If it's a trans girl, they're going to look cute. They're going to get their hair done every two weeks and everything else. You know, it's going to be... Um, and if it's a trans boy, he going to be lit. So, I mean, you know, but all in all, what's really important is that you go to school and you get your education and you actually get all the lessons you need in life and all types of stuff and he said zaya is having a 4.0 zaya is a well-rounded student and that is what's important i'm more worried about that i don't give a damn about your sexuality i give a damn about if you going to college if you what you doing you want to make a business i'm trying to figure out what you going to do in life period that's, it's bigger than just sexuality and you know how you pre how you present or you know if you if you're trans or not as a kid you need to be doing what you need to be doing as a kid too i don't know no no um but anyway i wanted to know like does she really feel that way like, what's going on with this ex-wife of his? So, the first card I got, because I already pulled them out. The first card I got was the Lovers, okay? The Lovers card is very unique in this deck. And to be honest with you, the Lovers card is so funny because you see this rose and they got this, and they got this um, cross on it. You see the devil in the background. And you see this cup and this little spoon stirring the pot. And do you see something on top of this woman's head? So, the lover's card is, I feel like she does love her child. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. She loves her child. But, I think she's being controlled. Okay? I feel like there's a program in her head. And, I mean, I'm not talking about literal control. But, I feel like... I feel like she's manipulating the situation. But it's really because she doesn't like it. Okay? With this Ace of Cups in the reverse. She doesn't like the fact that she doesn't have any say so the way that she wants. Okay. And she doesn't like how things are going. To me, I feel like both parents should be in agreement. Um, I do agree in her and see the part where She's feeling like we both put half in for this baby. I should have more control. I feel like we both put half in on this baby. I do feel like both of y'all have say so. I do feel like that. Okay. The two of wands is right here. This is working together. You know, this is a new business venture working together. Um, could be frustration. I think there's a lot of frustration there. I, f I do feel like there is a choice, though. Because you got, this is a choice and this is a choice. She has a choice to make, okay? It's either she gonna, she gonna be a part of her child's life completely. Because I don't like it. Okay. 
to me, what it sounds like is I want to have say so, but I'm not really feeling. To be honest with you, I don't feel like she respects the transition process. Right? That's not what she believes in. That's not everything that she believes in. Okay, I'm just keeping it like that. I'm just keeping it 100. So, to her, she should have say so because she feels like we need a balance. I can't. You shouldn't be agreeing to everything that da 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 da. No, don't be trying to agree with everything. There needs to be a balance of yes and no. Yes and no. That's how she kind of feels. Um, you know how it's a yin and yang? You know how, you know, Libra skills balance? I can't... She feels like Dwayne Wade is a yes man. And she needs to be there to say no. Okay? Um, when it comes to Zaya. But Zaya, um, their kid. But the problem is, you're not there. Okay? I understand that she feels like she's not being acknowledged as her mother. Like, I'm not being acknowledged, and my rights are not being acknowledged. But if we're going by what Dwayne Wade says, you have times, you had times where you can show up and Zaya wanted you to show up and be there and you're not there. So, is it your stubbornness making choices like that? Because out of anything, it's the Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is, this is an unhappy family. This is a family in turmoil. And she doesn't like this. I mean, and then I don't even think it's just her. You know, I think it's a lot of people in their family that don't like what's going on. Okay? But they can't say nothing. Because they've been silenced. Okay? That's the truth. But me personally, I feel like it would be a better situation if they put how they feel aside and really have conversations. Maybe go to um, counseling. Because parents need counseling just like their child. You know what I'm saying? So all three of them, if all three, if Zaya's mom, her dad, and her go to counseling all three of them together. I feel like it'd be a little bit better. Um, maybe the mom needs to go individually. I feel like there's some things, because I'm not going to lie to you, there's some things that Dwayne Wade does that isn't all up and up either. You know, it really isn't. So, he's not the savior and everything, whatever. Um... He needs to go. And then they need to go together. And then they need to put their daughter in with them. So everyone can be on one accord. Okay. And it is a healthy conversation. When it's a yin and a yang. A pro and a con. Someone with and someone against. That's why debating is good. Because sometimes you know you get to see the whole picture. And mind y'all. I meant to tell y'all. I broke my glasses y'all. And I gotta, and I gotta buy some new ones. So I gotta go to the eye doctor, and I have to um, pretty much schedule an appointment today. But all in all, do I feel like she means what she's saying about him exploiting Zaya? I feel like what she really wants to say is, "You're not making me a part of anything. I don't want to be a part of nothing because it's all whatever you say go." Um. And I have my own reservations about what's going on. And I feel like my voice should be heard as well. I'm not being treated right in this situation. Like, I didn't have this baby with you. And why is it that y'all look like this big old family and I don't exist? So I don't exist because I don't fully agree with everything y'all do with my son who is now transitioning into my daughter. And I do feel like she is valid for feeling how she feels, and Dwayne Wade is valid for feeling how he feels. But I think they need to come in the middle, because at the end of the day, that's their kid. 
they went half on that baby. So, you have to validate somebody's feelings. Like, it is something crazy, you know, it could be. It could be crazy feelings. I gave birth to a little boy, and now he's becoming a, a, a teenage girl, you know? So, it's one of those things, but I'm actually happy that people get to live in a truth. We live in an age where, you know, it's okay to express yourself differently and not be, you know, trapped in one way of thinking. But I also feel like there's a need to understand that both arguments are valid. There's a pro and a con to everything. I can't, I don't like it when people only give you yes and not be like, mm, I'm not sure about that, you know. So, I feel like, you know, there's a situation where maybe they all need to address something and be honest. And, you know, relinquish some power, too. You know. But that Christianity stuff, you know, would have you disowning your kids. And we all know that. So, that's a whole other thing. I kind of feel like, mm. Anyway, I don't feel like she should have went public and said, he's exploiting my kid. Because he, what does he, what does he have to gain financially? I mean, he'll get money and stuff, but he already got money. But I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section, but that's what I get from that. I just get a situation where I do think her opinion about what's going on with her child is valid. And his opinion about what's going on with his child is valid. Look at this big ass truck. Good morning. Don't hit my don't hit my shit. Don't hit my shit. I already broke my glasses. I don't need to break my car too. Oh God! What is going on with that situation? Maybe I need to move back. Alright, y'all, I think I might want to pull my car back. Okay, y'all, because that is a long truck. Is he trying to go the opposite way? He even blocked up the whole damn street. Child. Look, anyway, love on y'all kids. Happy Friday. I'm about to go buy me some glasses. And, yeah. <laughs> Peace.